Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Simon and I'm here with Brett. Hello, and here's the Brett. He's on top of this. And he's waving. How did you get that bear? That's none of your business. Oh, I didn't think you had that. Anyway, the other day I was in a charity shop near where I live and I saw this great big yellow box and I could see it was full of bits of Hot Wheels track. Now the problem was there was nothing labelled on the box to say what was in it and there was nothing to say whether it was complete or anything else so I had to take a bit of a chance. So I bought all this and what I'm going to do is show you what I got and then I'll show you if it works and how much I paid for it. Well, I'll tell you how much I paid for it, not show you how much I paid for it. But anyway, when we got it home, what we found was the people that donated it put these pictures in. So they put a picture of it all together with three play sets like we've got in the front. And then they did it, a picture from the other side as well. So from that, I could basically work out how this went together. So what we got is we've got this expressway playset, which is kind of like a racetrack in a way. Isn't that exactly what it is? Oh, well I missed a bit then when I put it together. And what you've got is you've got these raceways that go through with some toll gates on there and some gates to change direction of where cars are going. And we also got three playsets. So this one is popping pizza. Then we've got a car wash where the car goes on and you push it around to get it clean. And then we've got this service station. Now, what you can do with these service stations is use these bits of track to connect to these side pieces so the cars can come off of here and go into one of these play sets. And we've also Wait, got... when you add them on. Because it would have been a bit big to try and put it on here for the space we've got. Fair enough. And then we've got this bag of um, connectors and there's a couple of ramps in there and there's also a parking sign in there as well. Good and we've got enough. quite a bit of um, racetrack as well. So it's not bad for this. Oh, and we also got a pack of four cars with it. So after I put it together, these are all pretty good. The only thing that's missing from the popping pizza is guess what's missing? Pizza. A pizza. There should be a big pizza that goes with this and that's missing, but that's fine. I might find one one day. But they're nice little sets. I like the uh, the service station with the little jack and the, the jack on this side and then the little bits that's on there. I think it's all quite a nice little set. Now with this, if Brett wants to push that lever forwards. Which one? That one? Yeah, there's only one. Push it forwards. It's all the way. Now, what, now if you put a car on both sides of that entrance where that I showed you, and we'll see what it does. So you can have them going around in this direction, and they might even crash, in, crash into each other in a certain place about here. Or you could stop cars from going through by doing shutting the gate. It's going to crash. Just like, oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait. I see this in 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and you could stop them on the different wait. And you could also change what direction Let's they send drive. them both at the same time. Go on then. Something's wrong. There you go. So let's see if they crash. I want to crash. Work. Yay! So you've got a nice little crash in the middle. That was perfect. Which way to prevent the crash? Oh, you got caught, caught in the way. They love. Are you coming? They enjoy having this crash, don't they? Well, they wouldn't have done if we wouldn't have stopped them. Okay, let's try and stop the crash last minute. Nope. <laughs> nope. 
I don't really need to do much, do I? They just crash automatically, don't they? Okay. If you would have left that floor close, leave the gate. Oh. Leave the gate. You've got more chance of crashing on that gate than you have to change it. Well, they crashed it anyway. <laughs> Wait, he's gonna make it, he's gonna make it, he's gonna make it, he'll be fine. Oh, and he gets smacked again. He was a criminal. But like we said, you, can you turn it off for a minute? And if that you were point. if you were taking them around the track and you open this gate up, you could have it attached to a connector and one of these and then connect it to one of the free play sets that we got. Now let me just say we got this whole track which had batteries in it when we got it. It's working, it's quite a lot of fun. You got the extra track over there, you've got the free play sets which are Pretty nice and pretty good. And you've got the cars. How much do you think I paid for all this, Brett? Hmm, I'm gonna say at least five pounds. It was six pounds. It's close. So for six pounds from a charity shop, I think I had a pretty good deal on this, and we might even use it on some future videos. We there is ways that you could use this to make cars race. So do you like it, Brett? Yeah. Do you think it was worth buying? Yeah. It's race for so, if we are in charity shops again and we find anything that's to do with die cast we'll pick it up and we'll show you on this channel but for now i think that's going to be it for this video we hope you liked it um we hope you like the racing videos we've been doing and the looks at die cast models that we've got and for now thank you very much for watching and we'd like to say a big thank you to everybody that has subscribed to this channel it means a great deal to me and to Brett, so please continue your support. And for now, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. And he's waving. And guess what? Do you know what I'd like to do? What? Put the bed just there. Now leave him there. Now set the car off a minute. I'm not sure if I like this. I do. Spoil sport. There you are.